fantastic quality. And from our perspective, we believe that the quality of robots will likely go beyond that of the stringent automotive grid. Because we also work on the flying cars, we believe that this two will be, well, very rigid, more rigid than the car. For example, our battery design, well, is more stringent than that of the car. We worry about catching fire in the household or buildings. Not to mention, the robot has 82 joints. So,、uh, imagine a car. If the engine fails, it cannot drive. But there are 82 joints on the robot. If one fails, well, the whole may collapse. Oftentimes, we will have situations like a joint fell and the electricity will break down the robot, which just fall over. That's why. The robot would have very high requirements for safety, much higher than that of the car. And for perception design and domain controller design, we actually benchmark against the car and even higher than that. The third lessons we learned is that we find that most of the car,、uh, the car makers. They would、uh, like integrations and innovation to do this at both the same time. But for robotic manufacturers, it's more about fusion, fusion and innovation. How can it better fuse the software and integrate to make it coordinate? Because the eyes, the hands, the legs of the robot need to be coordinated. These are powered by two different systems. It's very difficult. That's why we required full fusion. Fusion and innovation is actually the foundation for robotic development, and this is a great challenge. I believe that for the future robotic manufacturer, many of them would prefer the full stack self development. And for those choose for integration, well, it may be very difficult for them to venture into this field. That's why we believe that mass producing the advanced humanoids is as difficult as building a robot taxi with an immature hardware and a software supply chain, just like、uh, in back in 2015. That's why I would take the lead to build a robotic team, and so far we have ten R&D teams working on the robotic development. So apart from the robotic centers, we have other departments that would also work on the R&D. Not to mention, we have more than twenty partnering departments, over one thousand people that will support our overall development. Well, first, let's watch a short video to see some of our mass production scenarios. We actually set a very aggressive goal for ourselves, which is by the end of 2026, we hope that we can mass produce high-level advanced humanoid robots. If we can really achieve that, this would be a great challenge, but also a great success for us. We hope that there will be a lo louder round of applause here. And I truly believe that our robotic teams will never fight alone because all of those R&D teams working on the robotics will fight together, join hands in hand to tackle all those hardware and software challenges, ensuring safer and higher level mass production. We hope that. Xbond will become one of the first, and even the first Chinese company to mass produce the humanoid robot. This is a challenging goal. 
Also, just like our VLA 2.0 and the robot taxi, our Xbone Iron will also open our SDK to the global developers. We believe that robots developed by a single company is very limited in its universal usages. But if we can partner with more developers to have secondary and even multiple developments, it's definitely going to enrich our Iron's features and to be greater adapt to different scenarios, unleash greater possibility. And we are very delighted to announce a news. Because I actually have a friend who have long to reach out to me, saying that they want to have our iron deployed in their workplace to help with their business. Uh, Bei 我相信啊，通过深化双方合作，将为中国新人民汽车的高质量发展，为制造业的智能化转型注入新的动力。谢谢大家。So to make a summary, the latest next-gen Xpon Iron will be the, the most human-like robot. And also, we are going to equip the industry first full solid state battery. We hope we can achieve mass production in 2026. And more and more people will buy our humanoid robots like you purchase our cars. <laughs>